Good afternoon, Sonia. Yes, ma'am. Can you tell me about yourself? I'm Sonia Manate from Santa Fe, Nueva Vizcaya, 27 years old, and I'm married, and I have one kid. Okay, I have few questions for you to answer, so let's start. Yes, Why do you want to work as a maid? I want to work as a maid because I want a high salary and to help my family needs. Okay, why you choose Malaysia when there's a lot of other country? Yes, they have offered many jobs in near in the Philippines and the same. How are you qualified for this job? I'm qualified for this job because I'm honest, loyal, and I will assure that I will not disappoint my employer, ma'am. Okay, may I know what is your educational level is? I'm vocational graduate, ma'am. Okay, what is your recent experience? I'm babysitting, ma'am, to my own baby, ma'am. Okay, have you worked abroad before? Not yet, ma'am. Do you have experience of taking care of baby? Yes, ma'am, to my own baby. Okay, and how about elderly people? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any other special skills? Yes, ma'am. Laundry, cooking, and gardening, ma'am. Are you willing to learn new skills? Yes, ma'am. Are you willing to work with a family where the mother-in-law or any relatives stay together? Yes, ma'am. Currently, are you still working now? No, ma'am. Do you know how to cook? Yes, ma'am. What sort of food can you cook? Filipino food, ma'am. Okay. Can you give me example of Filipino dishes? Tinola, adobo, and paksiyo, ma'am. Okay. Are you aware that you will have to do washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking? Yes, ma'am. From all the house chores, which do you like most? Laundry, ma'am. If ever you were selected to work in Malaysia, who will take care of your kids? My mother and my husband, ma'am. Okay. You are not allowed to use phone during working hours. Yes, ma'am. You are, you are only allowed to use handphone after you finish all the works and when going to bed. Yes, ma'am. You are strictly needed to surrender the handphone to your employer in the morning. And yes. your employer will return when you're going to bed. Yes, ma'am. If ever your employer finds out that you're abusing of using your handphone, it has affected your work performance. Your employer will confiscate your handphone and you are not allowed to hold it anymore. Instead, your employer will allow you to call to your family three times in a month. Are you agreed for the terms and conditions? Yes, ma'am. Are you agreed to the rules and regulation for the handphone? Yes, ma'am. How many years is the contract as you agreed and understand? Two years, ma'am. Can you describe me your ethics, your attitude? I'm honest, loyal, and patient, ma'am. Okay, how can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? I will do my best, ma'am, and I will, I don't like to disappoint my employer, ma'am. Okay. Can you promise not to use the telephone without the permission of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise to put on makeup but to dress properly while work? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to invite friends and relatives without the consent of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to ask for advance salary from your employer? under yes. any circumstances yes ma'am do you really understand rules and regulation of the agency yes ma'am do you pay any placement fee for you to come to malaysia to work as a maid no ma'am do you have any history of sickness example breast cancer or any other illness no ma'am do you suffer from any skin diseases allergy or physical defect no ma'am have you suffered from any serious illness? No, ma'am. Do you smoke? No, ma'am. Have you undergone any operation? 
No, ma'am. Are you medically fit? Yes, ma'am. Are you on any medication? No, ma'am. Are you allergic with any food? No, ma'am. Are you prepared to work for the employer of any race? Yes, ma'am. Are you prepared to eat the type of food given or taken by your employer? Yes, ma'am. Are you afraid of being left alone in the house? No, ma'am. Are you afraid of dogs or other pets? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise to work according to instruction from your employer? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any immediate family working in Malaysia? No, ma'am. Okay, Sonia. We have yes. finished our question section. Let's go to case study. I have a case study for you and I want you to answer me truthfully. Number one, upon arrival in Malaysia within six months, if ever any of your family members passed away, what will you do? Will you continue to work till finish your contract or you will go back? I will send them salary, ma'am. My okay. salary, ma'am. So, meaning to say, you will just continue and finish your contract? Yes, ma'am. Okay, number two, tell us about yourself and why do you want to work in Malaysia as domestic helper? I'm Sonia Malate, 27 years old. I have one kid and I'm married. Okay, Sonia, what do you want to tell to your employer who watching your video right now? Please, ma'am, select me, ma'am, because I'm honest and I will take care of you as my family and I'm loyal, ma'am. Okay, Sorry. thank you very much, Sonia. We will update to your agency if there's any selection made by the employer. Yes, ma'am.